Out of the clear blue sky, a young life cut short. She was running, playing ball. Um, you wouldn't suspect her of being sick. So she was healthy. She was perfectly healthy. And here's Molly. The Begain family remembering their daughter and sister, Molly, who lost her battle with melanoma in 2000 at just 20 years old. After learning that she had them all on the back of her leg, we took it to a dermatologist. Six months later, um, she passed. Two thousand and sixteen has been a very effective year for Molly's Fund in our outreach efforts to educate the public about melanoma. Our hidden camera social media campaign, Killer Tan, challenged millions of YouTube followers warning them of the inherent cancer effects of tanning bed use. A pretty profound, pretty powerful sponsor by Molly's Fund. With the support of the EFI award-winning team at Area 23, we turned our focus to young parents. Most kids spend an exorbitant amount of time playing outdoors. This makes children under 15 years of age particularly at risk. Our goal is to make sun protection a normal part of children's behavior. Mr. Sun, which reflects the children's song of the same name, is our latest public service announcement. Jack, Maggie, and Kara appeared on NBC's The Today Show to discuss their objectives in creating this public service announcement. The Begain family now shining a light on the dark side of the sun. In a sobering PSA that debuted earlier this summer. It's just a perfect time to remind parents that, you know, as they send their, their children outdoors, lather them up. My parents made us wear sunblock, but I think now we know even more about reapplying sunblock and how important that is. Oh, Mr. Sun. Sun. The video, titled Mr. Sun, begins with the end of a young woman's life as she dies from melanoma. It then hits the rewind button on her journey, which started with her sunbathing on a beach without sunscreen. The message? Just five sunburns can increase your child's risk of melanoma by 80%. What about people who see this PSA and go, whoa, this is way too harsh? What do you say to that? I think it is harsh. I think it's out of the box and edgy. It's a shot of reality. The American Cancer Society cites melanoma as one of the most common cancers in people younger than 30, especially for women. Since 1980, the number of women under 30 developing the disease has increased by 50 percent. But to know skin cancer for the most part is preventable and melanoma, if caught early, can be cured, this is our mission. For today, Morgan Radford, NBC News, New York. During the summer, New Yorkers and tourists were able to view this PSA in the back of their taxis. Cabs in Boston, Chicago, Philadelphia, San Francisco, and Washington, D.C. also presented Mr. Sun. This PSA is also airing on the major TV networks, CBS, NBC, and ABC. In an ongoing effort to continue to motivate younger audiences, we collaborated with our team at Area 23 and launched a very intimidating print campaign, Melanoma Monsters. Throughout Manhattan and in Times Square, this aggressive monster lurking beneath the skin's surface reminds the public of the necessity of mole checks. Capitalizing on the Pokemon Go phenomenon, Molly's Fund will bring awareness to participants with our own Pokemon, the Molinoma. This life-size character will pop up when gamers are spending too much time in the sun. The Molinoma sculpture is being designed for a Pokemon hotspot located at 59th Street and 5th Avenue in Central Park. Cure Connections is a new video platform for cancer patients. Recognizing the power of information and community, Cure Connections connects medical experts, patients, caregivers, and families to online programming. Molly's Fund was honored to be selected to be on a special segment on melanoma. With the support of Victoria Siegel, Molly's Fund has been on the forefront in supporting nursing education initiatives that instruct the necessity of sun protective behaviors and the importance of self-exams. We feel like this is a wonderful forum to educate nurses who see their patients on a very regular basis about the dangers of skin cancer and moreover, role modeling, good behavior. As a result of Dr. Siegel's recent research, we anticipate adding skin cancer assessment and education to the electronic medical records form at Winthrop University Hospital. Over 4,000 players, parents, and coaches from the tri-state area attended the two-day Jay Gallagher lacrosse tournament in mid-June. 
the hot and sunny weekend is a perfect format for our foundation to offer shade, sunscreen, and hats. This year, with the support of La Roche-Posay and dermatologist Dr. Kavita Marawala, we were able to provide free skin screenings. So this guy here, I think he's a little treatment. It's a little cancer. See how it feels a little rough right there? Molly's Fund is an organization near and dear to my heart. 75% of the people who got screened today actually needed something to either be biopsied or frozen. It's a really gratifying experience because I know that they need treatment and they probably would not have sought medical care in any other venue. Our sixth grade program at the Garden City Middle School reminded students of their responsibility to develop sun protection habits and to educate their families of the harm associated with tanning. Garden City dermatologist Dr. Ted Daly instructed students about the ABCDEs of mole identification and answered their questions. Dr. John Clark's enthusiastic rendition of his rap song, Stop Melanoma, reiterated the lessons presented in our video, The Dark Side of the Sun. Stop melanoma, please understand, stay out the sun, it comes from a tan. Our public service advertisements reflect our ongoing efforts to educate all that skin cancer can be prevented and melanoma, if caught early, can be cured. Our print campaign continues to be seen on Long Island buses on the North Fork and in the Hamptons. Our radio spots can be heard on Winds Radio and during Yankee and Mets games. There are many sunny days at Yankee Stadium. Protect yourself from the sun. Use sunscreen to reapply it often. Wear sunglasses and a hat. The Molly Begain Melanoma Foundation suggests that you see a dermatologist once a year. We are founding members of the Melanoma Action Coalition, collaborating with and supporting 23 member organizations throughout the United States. With a common goal of eliminating melanoma, we are privileged to work with others that share our passion. Your ongoing support has enabled us to reach millions in education and prevention programs. In Molly's name, we thank you for your commitment.